Well, hail and well met fellow travelers. Welcome to the Gatehouse for the Gizmonic Order. I am your Grandmaster. Cheers. Appreciate you being here. Sorry, I forgot to get rid of that stream ending. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I need side tone or a yell. And so I'm trying very hard not to yell because I have to teach a class in a couple of weeks and I'd want to have a voice for that. That'd be nice, right? You know, it's silly me, right? Wanting to do that. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys are having a great day, a great evening. I hope you've been having a great week. Um, tonight we're doing some more BTA. Um, that thumbnail is totally incorrect. Um, you just ignore it, but you, you get the idea. Um, it's there. And um, we're going to be doing some uh, Battletech Advanced 3062. Uh, I'm just kind of going through right now and setting up some of the, the settings <clears throat> for the game. Uh, we're starting a brand new career because my previous career sucked balls and I didn't like it. So <clears throat> we're going to be doing something different tonight. Starting over from scratch, um, getting a little bit more money, although it didn't really matter because it wasn't like I had, <laughs> wasn't like I had, I was able to use all the money because the game sucks so badly. Um, anyway, um, we are going to be doing, um, like I said, a whole bunch of stuff here. So hopefully um, we're going to see if this is going to work any better. I apologize for the late start. Um, I had to be a dad that helped my son with his homework. Um, and we got all that sorted out. We had to do math and spelling. And so he's got all that stuff down. <clears throat> and I will quiz him on the words again tomorrow morning. But um, yeah, it is um, going to be interesting to go through. So um I did also do a couple things. Um, I did read up on BTA 3062. Um, so I did spend some time, go through the process, try to figure out, okay, um, you know, what's going on with this? Um, and what am I not understanding here? Because obviously there was something on my first playthrough that was very dissatisfying. <laughs> so um, I wanted to make sure that I understood I understood. Um, what I was supposed to be doing and that I wasn't um, doing something, I wasn't playing the, the game improperly. Uh, what I do know is that there is a knowledge level that you need to have in order to be successful in this game, and my knowledge level is here. So there is a gap, a pretty significant gap between people who have been playing this game for a while who have encouraged me to take a look at this mod and where I am. Um, the thing that I liked about the original uh, vanilla game was that it, I, I'm not going to use this derog in a derogatory way or in a slur kind of way, but it sort of handheld you through the beginning process. You went through, you learned how to use a mech, you learned how to target, you knew how to fire weapons, how to not fire weapons, that kind of stuff. It was pretty straightforward. It, it gave you a good intro to the game. None of the mods can do that. However, Having played the vanilla version, playing a mod like Battletech Extended Commander's Edition or Bex was a, was a slight modification of the basic game. Um, the problem that I have with most of this stuff is that it is a, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, it is a... Um, complete redesign of Battletech, the game. And so you have to um, uh, spend some time to work through that and get it, to, get it um, to operate properly. And so that is the problem that I ran into, was just that I didn't have um, the right stuff, uh, the right information, the right knowledge, in the game to go through and have that be something that I could do. Where is my portrait? Sorry, I'm looking for my portrait in here. It should be in here somewhere. But it's not. <clears throat> so there you are. <laughs> I added it. I did, I did exactly what it asked me to do. There's two of the same thing. What? There's two of the same thing. Um, anyway, so I apologize. I'm just, squirrel. Um thing happening here. Um, but, um, yeah, I need to kind of, like I said, I need to kind of go through and sort of figure out, oh, there I am. Um, I do need to kind of figure out like what knowledge I need to have or to acquire in order to make this mod fun. The same thing happened with Broke Tech. Um, it is a very, um, uh, difficult 
um, uh, it's a very difficult mod and it's very challenging. And if you're not careful, then you're going to end up in a situation where you are, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Uh, just really frustrated by the game. So again, sort of that getting you to a level of comfort with the mod doesn't happen really with BTA and with mod and with rogue tech. So you kind of have to play it enough that you're going to like it or you're going to hate it. Um, I am not a huge fan in general of games that punish you for not playing it the way they want you to. Um, which is why I like sandbox games. That's why I liked Battletech with Bex, because it's just like, yeah, sure, go ahead. You, you, want, to, you want to go to the periphery? Have fun. See ya. Enjoy yourself out there, right? Um, so anyway, um, my hope is, though, that I'm going to try this and enjoy it a little bit better. Um, definitely did not like... Uh, I, I got ambushed by some... So what happened to me, what made it very frustrating for me was... Um, I ended up getting ambushed by some battle armor, and despite my best efforts, it would not let me target the battle armor. That was it was swar it swarmed one of my mechs, my wolfhound, and it would not let me get it off. I found out that there's a thing called rolling that you can do, not the base game, that can get them off of you, and I should have done that. And had I known that's what was going on, I would have maybe known to do that. So now, like I said, so I've got some some information. Um, and I've got my laptop here, so I can always go look up some more. <laughs> uh, but the idea here really is just trying to get it so that I can get these things to work out a little bit better. Because right now, this is just food work. Um, and um, hopefully we can get this game to be a little bit more enjoyable than it was. So let's go ahead and jump in and we will see how things happen here. All right, so you can see here. Um, <clears throat> look, it's me. <laughs> uh, I need to get, um, the right, um... I'm on the clock. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Bunny here. Bunny. Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. <laughs> what do you need, command? Ready, command. Welcome, commander. Got my attention. Yes, commander. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. I think I went Standing David the last time. Orders. I'm ready. No. Receiving you. Orders. There we go. That's close enough. Okay. So there we go. So I'm going to be Gl Clifford on Gizmo Devo. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I'm from the Lyran Commonwealth. I'm an officer trainee, and I've got a better um, drive. Dropship. Yay! Okay. Faster drive, plus two tech points, plus two. Whoop de freaking do. All right. Uh, all right, yes. The business of war never changes. Just war itself. Because that's hard. Like I am. No, wait. I, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Sorry. All right. We are not Mason's Marauders. We are the Gizmonic Order. I don't think I can find our... Where is it? There it is. Look at that. Look at that! We get to use our own logo for us. Yes! I customized it. <laughs> I love it. That was really kind of cool. I like that. Okay. We're going to customize some more. Um, that's a fine color. Um, I like that to be the secondary color. Uh, actually, no. I'd like to be like... Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Bloody hell. Got it. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> we have these little moths that just appear out of somewhere, and I don't know where they're coming from. I mean, obviously they're coming from caterpillars, because that's where moths come from. But, I mean, I just I don't know where the, where the caterpillars are coming from. Um, I don't know why they're... Uh, okay, obviously they come from moths that lay eggs, but, I mean, I... You get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, God, that... Secondary colors just, I mean, it's like. Wow. It's like just that, that top color just is not. I mean, look at that. Maybe we go with that. It's a little bit better, I guess, maybe. 
Actually, let's go with that darker green there, and we'll go with, yeah, we go with the lighter green on the bottom, the darker green on top. Okay, there we go. And then we'll go with the gray and the, the white for that. Yeah. Oh, you know, that that is a kind of neat little uh, accent. I like that accent. Okay, we're going we're gonna to stick with that accent. Sold. Although, actually, I should go with blue because blue is in my... It's in my... Uh, I have blue, gold, and green in my uh, thing here. So we'll go, we'll go with blue. Blue accent. There we go. Excellent. I love it. All right. We have 1.25 mil. Yes. Uh, let's go take a look at our mechs. One of the first things that they recommended was going to the mech bay and updating your mechs. Uh, also, don't do anything yet because you need to get a bunch of... Oh, that's our M4. That's not a rare weapon. Okay. If, if it's Star League era, maybe... All right, and then a butt ton of stuff. Yeah, okay, got it. cool. We got a butt ton. We got a butt ton of stuff. Do we have enough space for this? That's what I want to know. I don't know that we've got enough space for that. Two blackjacks, huh? Oh, I love this. Close range, medium range, long range. That's cool. <clears throat> six hundred. That's pretty good durability. That's what the saying is. Six hundred. A wasp. Wow, look at that wasp picture. That is right out of the technical manual i mean that is like plucked from the 1986 technical manual boom baby love it all right yeah we're not doing i that guy is going away this locust oh, it was endo steel ooh and ferrofibrous what is wasp yeah so anyway one of the first things i recommended was go in and update your mechs change your mechs around get stuff <laughs> and make it uh, and increase their durability, maybe change the weapon systems and stuff, that kind of stuff. Um, so it went through and talked about some of the things that I might want to do and refit with my with my mechs. So I'm going to take a look at these guys. Okay, so this guy's got an AC2. Yeah, I'm... So the AC2 is funny. In Battletech, it's into Commander's Edition, Bex. The AC2 is like... Oh God, was it 30 points of damage, I think? This is 27, but it's nine times three. It's an AC2. An AC20 does 100 points. That is not one-tenth of 100. Um, and it was funny because I was talking to one of the guys, Harry, who is one of the developers on the, on the Bex mod, and I said the AC2s are OP. I mean, they hit you, and it's like, I mean, it's like a damn medium laser, for God's sakes. I mean, here's a medium laser, right? That's 20 points of damage, and AC2 is 27 points of damage. No. Medium laser is 5 points of damage for 3 for three heat. It should be more than twice what an AC2... Anyway, this is the same problem. The AC2 is way... It's overpowered for the... For the weapon it is. It's not intended to be a hardcore weapon. It's just not. It's it's intended to be a plinker from a distance. You're not supposed to use this as a primary weapon. An AC2 is not a primary weapon. It's a support weapon that you throw on something when you have an extra couple of tons. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. So anyway, um, yeah, two, I have four medium lasers. I think what I want to do with this guy, what's his durability at? 680, that's actually pretty good. But I think what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of the AC2s and the ammo for the AC2. And then what is that? The AC2 is six tons. Six tons for that thing. And that's eight tons for that guy. <clears throat> so I could replace this with an AC5 which does 45 points of damage, toss on a ton of ammo, which is 15 shots. I mean, I took that in the head, because let's face it, if that goes, it's all gone. And then we got ourselves, all, and then I can uh, bump the armor up here. Do 100 on the legs. Bump up the arms because that's where my weapons are. Uh, 
let's see here. <clears throat> 43 tons. Max there. All right. Um, let's see. Do I have support? I can add like a... Have like a small laser and a small laser and um let's see what else oh i have enough for one more ballistic weapon here but i'm not going to do anything there um You were at 105 and 110, 105. All right, let's see. 110, 110, 140, 70, 70, 70. So my right torso, actually, which is fine because I have my AC5 in my right arm. So I've got a little bit of extra protection in the back on my right torso for that. So it's pretty good. I, I, I'm feeling pretty good. We got rid of the two AC2s. We got an AC5, which is reasonable. Um, there's a lot more damage. We've got, um, we have what, 15 rounds for that. Yeah, 15 rounds. We're good. I, I think I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right. Nine days, though. Frack me, man. Not a lot of time. Not a lot of money, but a lot of time. All right. I'll here's you know this. Okay, what do we got? All right. Ooh, two large lasers, two medium lasers. I like it. I like it. It's good. Um, good damage here. Wow. Okay. Um, we don't have any e cooling, do we? Nope. I have a tank airdrop, though. Okay. Um, let's see here. I think, though, wow, what's his jump? It's four of fours, max jump is four hexes. Hmm. Okay. His, his, uh, the problem is his, um, you know what? That heat efficiency is ridiculous. Um, let's drop off like maybe four tons of heat sinks <laughs> and let's add some armor one two three one two three come on uh, yeah go all the way up make these guys Got two tons remaining. I got plenty of space. I want to give these guys. I want to give these guys as big, as good a chance of survival as possible. <laughs> okay. All right. That's maxed. That's maxed. Whoops. Okay, so hold on a second. Um, let's drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Oh, that should give me three that I need for that guy. Nope. I need one more from somewhere. Where am I going to take it from? Mm, that's a tough one. Um, one more off the back, I guess. There we go. And that gets that guy to one tip. Nope. Wait, there we go. All right, 105 and 105. And then I can bump this guy... To 65. There we go. Okay. That looks good. I got 105 in each torso, 50 internal for each, 70 in each arm, 110 in each leg, 140 for the front. Yeah, that durability is up quite a bit. That's 920 armor. That's... I'm liking that. All right. And I like the, the weapon range. I think it's pretty good. I think we've got more than enough heat sinks to handle that. All right. Here's what we're going to do, though, first. First thing we're going to go through is we're going to do this. And then we're going to get this. 
we're going to accept the invitation. All right, cool, excellent. Yes, I want to take the crate. This is going to give me a mech. Let's see what we get. What do we get? What do we get? Ooh, an Icar 40 tonner. Okay. Uh, small pulse. Mm, oh, MML missiles. These are um, media multi missile launcher firing long range and short range. So, okay. Cool. AMS. Neat. Okay. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Lower on left and right. First homegrown battle mech designed to be mass produced by Free Worlds, designed a speedy striker to complement the Mackie. It's fast enough for its day, pitifully slow by modern standards. The primary arm is the Icarus is an AC-10. Okay. We have to make some adjustments there. Let's go take a look. All right. There he is. Okay. Well, if we can do this, if we can... Let's take a look at this Irby. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. P oh, he's got a PPC. I'll take PPC. That's nice. Um, what's his durability right now? Five sixty. That's actually not bad for a thirty tonner. Um, it's got a small laser. Whoop de do. Um, what I am glad though is that he doesn't have a. Um, uh, he doesn't have any um, uh, ammo based weapons. So he's got a really good weapon here. I mean, the the PPC is a nice weapon. It's at fifty five points of damage. Um, it's a good, it's a good gun. Um, it's a uh, primary on a, on like a, on a Panther. So no fire and melee, PPC debuff, does not fire melee. Scrambles target systems for two accuracy. Yep. All right. <clears throat> um, yeah, and he's got, yeah, okay, we're good. Nine heat, alpha strike. So alpha strike could be 50 heat. Jump is nine. He sinks forty-eight. So only a plus, only a plus eleven. That's not bad. That's that, that's not bad. That's that's reasonable. I can't, you know, alpha strike every turn, but I'm also not going to. Oh, he's got two medium lasers too. Never mind. Wow. <coughs> this dude's uh, beefier than I thought he was. He actually is pretty good. I'm okay with him. All right, let's take a look at this Icarus though. I'm going to change their patterns, too. These patterns suck. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've got uh, AC-10. Wow. Um, yeah, a small laser. Which might actually move to there. Um, let's see. That's the only place I can... I've got... I can mount an energy weapon over here. Um, I got the AC-10 here. Where's the ammo? There it is. Um, wow. Wow. Sucks. I got what 12 rounds with that? 10 shots with that. Man. And the durability is not so hot. 600 points. It's not bad, but it ain't great. Um, you know what? I'm gonna drop off two tons with the heat sinks. And we're gonna add some armor to this dude. One, two. What? I took off two. Oh, the two heat sinks are they don't count because they're part of the engine. Right. Four required external heat sinks. Never mind. <clears throat> so yeah, no, those are those are required for the engine, which is something else I just learned. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got a text message. It's <laughs> like, what the heck was that? Um, let's see. Um, anyway, so yeah, what I learned was that some of these um, engines, like this one, like a Core One Hundred and Sixty. It has this trait of four required external heat sinks. So the, what it's saying is that the engine shielding on that core unit is insufficient to hold shielding for ten heat sinks, which is what the standard battle mech has. So that's going to make you add four heat sinks so that you can get the ten heat sinks that you have by default on your mech from your engine. Um, so it's taking up four slots in your battle mech in order to make that work. Um, I'm not, ex this is like an, an Irby, this is an Irby, um, you know, I wonder if I should dump the AC-10 
I do not have a PPC. All right, let's go. Uh, yes, I want to can confirm, to cancel, and discard all changes. Yes, that's what I want to do. And I want to see what see. Let's go look at the store. And I also got to figure out what planet I'm on if there's anything here that's worthwhile. All right, I like to look at weapons, please. Well, large laser would be better. It's only five tons. It's less damage than the AC, but it would be Let's see storage. No components. I have a large laser. Okay, let's do that. We'll we'll take a look at swapping this guy out with a large laser instead of the AC ten. Because we'll get rid of the ammo, which is a ton, and we'll get rid of the AC-10, which goes from, we're doing from 60 points only down to 40 points. So his damage is going to drop. Um, but I just feel like it's going to be a better solution here. I mean, with the large laser. Um, actually, let's do this. Let's put, the, put a medium laser there and put the large laser there. There we go. <laughs> so now... He's got medium laser and large laser. I've got some space for some other stuff. I could toss on, well, I could toss on something ballistic. Okay, I could toss on an AC too. <laughs> um, but I have space for stuff. I can do other things. I've got, I'm already, I'm already maxed out on jump jets. I have space for two support weapons. So I could toss in uh, sure, toss that guy in. Why not? 33 tons. Um, I'm not going to get anywhere near um, 37 or 40 tons with 7 tons remaining. I've, there's this guy's. I mean, if I max this stuff out. Actually, let's do this. Max armor. There we go. Look, I'm at 36 and a half. So I've got really about 4 tons left almost of stuff, of space. Wow. Um, I do not have any open hard points, though, except for ballistic. Okay. Um, let's do this. Yep, confirm. Get rid of all my changes. The other option would be swap that out, maybe put... Hold on a second. I'll take a look here real quick. If I did... So I'm going to drop the large laser, and the large laser is only 5 tons as compared to the AC-10, which is 10 tons. 12 tons. So I'm getting 7 tons back. Um, all right, so I need to figure out, because I think like I maybe drop in, because an AC-2 is 6 tons. Let's go see what they have for weapons. Because I might be able to get something that's going to be a ballistic weapon that is reasonable for what I'm trying to do here. That's 8 tons. So that would be, you know, that would put me over my limit. But if I did a binary laser, ooh, that's interesting. That's five times. That's only, wow. Okay, I'm intrigued by this guy. He's three tons lighter than the AC-10. So I actually end up freeing up four tons if I put this guy on. Um, he does 70 points of damage, which is more than the AC-10 does. Um, he has no minimum range, a 20% chance. I, I'm digging this gun. I'm digging this. Okay. New weapon systems available. Yeah, I already did. Okay. I'm digging that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to swap that dude out. Let's give me this Icarus. Give me this dude. Give me this dude. Give me this dude. Give me this. Give me this dude. Give me this dude. Put the medium laser over here. Pull off the AC-10. Pull out the ammo. And then we're going to put that binary laser on this boy. Right there. Bam, baby. Look at that. Close range and medium range went way up. Our heat efficiency went way the hell down. All right, if I max armor... I've still got space. So let's um, strip armor. Let's add um, like seriously? I'm looking for freaking heat sinks. I don't have any. you got to be kidding me. Yes. 
exit and lose it. My God, I really don't like that you can't go to the store from the from there. That sucks. That's really annoying. Buy. I'd like to buy like ten. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of money. Wow. Okay, I am burning through cash. Good thing I got more than six hundred thousand. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Okay, pulling this guy off and that guy off. Moving that guy to there. We're going to bring the binary laser to there. And we're going to toss on... Heat sinks. Okay. There we go. Got a couple more heat sinks for a little bit more heat efficiency here. And now we can max armor. And we're overweight, that's fine. Um, take one off there. One off there, one off there, one off there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. I'm a half ton over now. All right, let's just see. I'm at, let's see, I'm point three. So one, I think one, two, three. Nope, not quite. Okay, there we go. That, our durability has increased a little bit. Our heat efficiency dropped significantly, but because we have this binary laser, um, our damage went up. Uh, I'm I'm liking what this, this is going to look cool. This is going to look really good. Okay. And validate, confirm. Right. Cool. All right. Get it in the schedule. All right, let's just go and wait till those things are done. 12 days. Oh, wait, pause. Hold on. Engineering. Power systems. 90, 45,000. Frick yes. All right. Do I that. Team on it right away. Awesome. Should have been doing that. Screw that. Screw that, pooch. Oh, here I go. Uh, Merc News. Let's see. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, let's see. Fock resigns. Curry elected first lord. <laughs> Thank you for renewing your subscription to Park News. <laughs> uh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. My reputation with Darius is now 100. I would hope so. We're now allied with Darius. Okay. Cool. All right. Up, oh, Phantom Pain. Um, all right. So I've said this one. I've done this one before. I forget what I did. I know something is wrong. I feel like I'm dying. What's going on here? I'm not making this up. Um, should we do exploratory surgery? Yeah. I've heard enough. Get this ball ready for for a surgery. It failed to under un, uncover any physiological basis. Her physically fit by all metrics, but an artery was nicked during the procedure, and he lost a lot of blood. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy who says, "Yeah, yeah, just walk it off." Um. We tend to do too much of that crap in this world, so. Krita S. Tax Steiner. Oh, that's something else that's kind of cool with this, too, is the navigation. You can see here is that, um, yes, thank you. There's these things going on, and it kind of shows you, hey, look, there's this, you know, here's an, here's an attack going on. Um, and here's another attack going on over here. Um, these are... Um, uh, they're attack for con they're for control. So Karita is attacking those places. Um, this is uh, they're under attack by Liao. Oh, we're that way the hell over here, man. Man. Okay, I got right. Where are we? We are. I can take a look at this place. This place is impoverished. One Skull, Desert. 
Yeah, I think I want to get the I want to get the hell off this planet. One of the things they recommended was if you're starting this off is do not stay on a planet that's a desert when you're starting off. Get somewhere else. <laughs> um, and don't go to a half skull. Go to a one skull. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to see what we can get here. What's what are one skulls around me within travel distance? Let us see. Okay, that guy's kind of far away. Wow, these guys are. I'm like. In a desert over here of one skulls. What's that guy? 27 days. My god, really? 21 days. 25 days. Damn it. You know what? We will let's go see what we have for for contracts. Last mech standing. It's a battle. A lance of Karedan, Karedan mechs has been rampaging in Davion ter territory. Sure. We're all set, right? Let me check my barracks before I commit to anything. Hey, we got ourselves a Kickstarter. Buckshot. We got me. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, multi-target. Yep. And bulwark. Okay, cool. Yes. Confirm. Needs to be a defender. Oh, it's a gunner. Okay. Uh, let's see. Death Crusade. <laughs> yes, Commander. Leafy, what is, what is this? Illuminati? <laughs> Target precision. Plus two accuracy for the remainder of this turn. Oh, wow, that is nice. That's not a nice skill. Advanced heuristics. Okay. Standing by. Oh, she can only pilot um, tanks. Okay. Commander. Slapdash. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. I want to. Well, one, two. Three, four, plus him, but let's not. Oh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to mess him up. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna do. Yeah, we can do this. We've got. We've got the max. We should be able to do this. Well, actually, half a skull is gonna be. Well, no, it's a lance of battle of lance of battle max. That's what it says. Wow, how, how much would? That's quite a lot. It's 80,000 C-Bill difference. I'm going to go with that because 2 and 9 isn't that big of a deal. 2 and 11 is not a huge thing. All right. We're going to go with the Blackjack. And we're going with the Blackjack. And we're going to go with the Icarus. And we're going to go with the Irby. And then we're going to go with... Alvin. Yeah, let's go with the Alvin... And the Saladin. Oh no, I can't. I, I get the I get the Alvin. She can pile the Alvin. There we go. All right. All right. And then we're gonna put him in here. Well, who's got the binary? The other guy. I'm gonna put him with that. Oh no. Yo, yeah, no, yeah. I was this gunnery six. Frick yes. Holy crap! Oh, the the Icarus has the binary laser. With that dude, with that. Okay. Um, sure. And Slapdash is going to be in the RB. There we go. Wow. We're dropping two and a, two and a half skulls against it. Um, basic B. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. 3062. Uh, 3062. Yes. Remove the jump jets. I, I apologize, uh, Tiago. I did not see your... Um, see your chats here at all. I, I don't have any notifications from this. Uh, I am looking at chat now. Um, but I wasn't before. I, like I said, I'm not I don't have any notifications from, from chat, which is really annoying. Why do I not have any notifications?
Yeah, I apologize for that. And I saw, I go back, and I'm looking at your stuff, and I'm seeing, yeah, you've got, you know, you've, you have that, you move the jumps, jump jets, map, map, match the armor, yeah. I apologize. I, like I said, I, I have it, I, when I'm on Twitch, I have all these alerts. I, this is my second live stream on YouTube in, like, three years. So I haven't seen it, and I'm not sure what's going on. I haven't, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure why it's not getting stuff. So I am very, very sorry. I apologize. Welcome, sir. Welcome, Tiago. Appreciate it. Cheers. Appreciate you being here. Um, and yes, this is 3062. So my era is actually 3026, 25. So this is all kind of brand new to me. Um, I don't have. Okay. Yes, please. What is your advice? <clears throat> I read through the... Um, uh, getting started, the beginner guide that uh, uh, Bloody Doves wrote. So, yep. So I need sensor lock, which I'm working on. Oh, I also I said I did save it. Okay. Yep. Or sensor lock, right? Yes. Artillery, mortars, that kind of stuff. Yep, 100%. Oh, man. Wait. Do I have... That is not showing up because that's not attached to YouTube. Crap, that sucks. Okay. Get a chaparral or, yeah, or ballista. Yep. I like it. And that's true. But if you've got folks that are primarily providing support, like, you know, you've got like a missile boat or something like that, then they can provide some, some of that lock stuff. Plus some of the weapons will, will avoid, will negate up to like a, like three evasion ticks and stuff. So. Okay, that's a good idea. I like that. Uh, using the um, battle armor. Oh, you can hold the shift key and click plus and minus. All right, ammo explodes. Don't have too much of it. Also, don't run out of ammo, but you do you, chief. Um, yep. The lance you've got is under the lance you want. I don't know about that. I've been pretty happy. This should not be taking this long. I didn't save the game. I saved the loadout. That was a problem. Okay. Yeah, worth it, worth looking at. So, yeah. Yeah, this is not working. Oh, can it? Okay. This just seems to be taking a lot longer than I expected, so. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I primarily play um, either um, 
uh, what do you call it, vanilla or Bex. So this is my second time uh, playing for uh, playing BTA thirty sixty two. So um, I've never I've never played this before. I've only played I played Rogue Tech um, and was not. Okay. <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm completely distracted by the by the teaser text. Um, the uh, I, I played Rogue Tech for a, a little bit. Didn't like it. Not my style. Um, I've been playing Bex a lot and got to this um, because one of the one of my viewers over on uh, Twitch said, "Hey, you should you know try this." So I'm giving it a, giving it a shot, and I gave it a shot on Tuesday, and I was dissatisfied. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, and now I am trying it again because I don't. I, I want to give everything a fair shake. Um, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of like you know. So I, I bought Elden Rings, Elden Ring. I'm not a huge fan of Dark Souls, but I'm gonna try it and see if I like it and see if I can play it. But it might not be my cup of tea. You know? And yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This, this shouldn't be taking this long. <clears throat> so I'm... I mean, I'm going to go through all the tool tips here. <laughs> I'm not careful. Especially for a half skull. I mean, if it was like loading up three lances and artillery and all that, I'd say, yeah, okay, fine. It's taking a long time. But this is not, this is the lance of light mechs, probably mostly vehicles. This should not be taking this long. I'm going to make it still. Click. Just. It's responsive. It's just not kicking to the next state. Actually, that tooltip I did know. All right, I'm going to give it another, I don't know, a minute. And I might need to quit out. <laughs> you can disable individual heat sinks. Not super useful, but pretty cool. Yeah, we've already cycled through all the tooltips. Oh, that's kind of cool. Shift click. Yeah, I've never had this happen to me yet. And I played about a thousand so far, so. All right. We're going to close window and hope I saved. Because if I didn't, <laughs> it's going to be not so good. Okay. Try this again. Gargantua. Yeah, I really, I, I did not save intentionally. I hope it auto-saved. Because <laughs> then it'll start over. Yeah, there we go.
Now I got a pretty fast SSD, so this shouldn't take too long to do. <clears throat> Darius has no idea what he's talking about half the time. That's so true. What I love is when it's like I get hit with missiles and Darius is like, oh, we have some uh, 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 additional contacts. It's like, oh, yeah, you think? Thank you. I, I kind of figured that one out on my own. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, command center. Yeah, it's last, last max. There we go. All right. We're going to go two and, two and nine. Because 2 and 11 is pointless. Um, yeah, we're good. Deploy. Try this one more time. Oh. I think that's funny. Yeah, it is. It's annoying as hell is what it is. It's like, you know, okay, Captain Obvious, thank you for, you know, letting me know that, but I, I kind of figured that out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the intel you've got is never the intel you want. Double when Darius is on the job. <laughs> oh, man. They're just, the Darius hate, man. They're just piling up the dog pile, man. There we go. Begin mission. A little better. Command interface initiated. Why can't we fight a nice, cool lake? Okay, really? It dropped all of my dudes. Up high. At least the Irby can jump, but wow. I've dumped all of my dudes. Five-star mission, the op four started with the standard lance with reinforcements, two additional fours, one, two, and three. In mid-mission, they got two extra drops from Ghost Bear. Right, their lances, their, their stars. Yep. Wow. Yeah, that, that's a hardcore thank you, but no. Okay, those guys are over there. Moving out. Location confirmed. Affirmative. Got it. Okay, an Omega Hyperion and a Gossan Allery. Yeah, not th those are those are not fun. Those sound very not fun to me. Coordinates received. Moving I believe that the appropriate response is thank you, but no. Jumping. Medium laser, two machine guns and tag. Okay. Jumping very far, but I'm used to like right. freaking, you know, uh, what do you call it? It's uh, uh, Phoenix Fox. Firing jump jet. It's a huge map, too. No, I'm here. There. Yes, you okay. are. Stop it, Dusty. Location confirmed. Aha! We got an enemy. 
About frickin' time. On my way. <clears throat> yeah, again, I'm not overly familiar with the stuff. I do know about the Goss and I later just because it's such a thing. A raptor! An F-22? Dude! Harsh in my mellow, man. <laughs> wow. It is a light with six medium lasers and two small pulse lasers. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's exactly that. what I suspected. Oh, let's keep preserving. <clears throat> We've got some good evasion ticks here. That. Standing by. Sure. Just forget about me. Holding for tactical advantage. All right, that's it. That's it. Ready for orders. Engaging jump jet. Point. Yeah, we have Copy that. sucky. Oh, we hit. I'm impressed. It's sucky percentages to hit, but we're gonna give it a shot. Standing by. God, I gotta get in like really close to this thing so I can see what the hell. Seventeen point five. Wow. Those suck. Just a little bit better. Confirm. Got it. Well, that was pathetic. Receiving you. On the move. Targeting for an alpha strike. Jeez. I'm not sure I agree with the decision to not have um, a firing on somebody removing evasion ticks. I know they did it. I'm not sure I agree with that decision. <laughs> so bad. <clears throat> hey. Okay, let's go. Engage. <laughs> nope, best. Of course, I missed. Orders. Nope. We're gonna reserve. Waiting for the right move. Holding for tactical advantage. Waiting for my opening. Waiting for orders. It's a side shot, at least. Sure. Firing jump jet. Not a huge fan of not being in cover, but... You hit. Hit with something, at least. God, 
God, six medium lasers, man. Minimal damage on that hit. Good advice. Oh. Thank you for that. There we go. That's a little bit I'm better fired. firing percentage. Locking in target. Oh, damn! Oh, engine destroyed. He's down. One part. <laughs> Here comes this dude. What's up, Commander? Good embrace. Whatever. Standing by. Um. Let me move there, I guess, for now. Embrace. I'm gonna move magnet down. Hey. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> yes, you're right, and I had forgotten about that. Which I think, yeah, yeah, it does. You know, show an Irby, frack, man. Game over, man. Game over. Good to go. It's not too bad. And I'm up. That's Let's pretty good. Up. I'm liking that. Missed with the PPC, but hit with one of the medium lasers. It's not too bad. I'm here. Well, that's not bad. 70%. Jump jet. Oh man! All right, fine. Just shoot the binary lasers. I'll just shoot the mediums. Okay. Oh, good hits. Good hits. Nice and solid. I like nice and solid. Up high. There we go. <clears throat> Engaging target. Nice. Oh, she hit with the AC at least. That was good. Good to go. That's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. Hit with the large laser. That's really what I needed her to do. Panic level critical! Punch! What now? Right, me wanting you to punch is not going to make you punch. But I want you to punch. Advancing, I guess. Well, almost half his armor's gone. It's good for us. And his AC-10 is out. That's good. Okay. Commander. Receiving you. Commander. Oh, yeah. Light him Taking up. The shot. Ooh, nice. Good, good leg shot there. Hey. No. I don't want to do that. Receiving you. I'm here. There. Okay. This might hurt. She missed. Oh my god, you cannot be missing with your main weapon. Death yeah. Crusade. What can I do okay. You? Jump up there. Shoot that dude. Roger that. He missed with both large lasers. Dude. Into a conversation, man. We're gonna have to talk. Oh, there we go. Nice. Hit with PPC. Beautiful. Digging that. Hey.
I'm not using morale skills. You're right. I should be. Oh no, he shot me. That is something I had completely forgotten, you're right. So. Oh wow, okay. Careful maneuvers, what's careful maneuvers do? Oh wow, okay. Oh cool, okay. Staunch is bleeding, erratic maneuvering. Where's roll? There's a there's a roll thing I was looking at. Just shoot him, would you? Oh, oh, it's Boom, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> oh my gods. Okay, never mind. <laughs> One part. Successful. Yes, thank you for that. I had actually completely so I I was wait I was looking. Oh. Interesting. I wonder I might have to uh um that certainly went better than what happened last time. <laughs> Um, although what happened last time, which was really frustrating, was um, that I got attacked by battle armor and they swarmed. And then I, um, what do you call it? Um, I, I couldn't get them off. And it was really unclear. Ooh, double strength heat sinks. Oh, do I really want this raptor? Do I really want an Irby? Sure. Yeah, I got a couple double strength heat sinks. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, so anyway, I, um, uh, I did see, uh, like I said, I did play and I, and what I lost my wolfhound and then I needed to have a core to put in there and I didn't have ones that would work. And it was just like so frustrating because like my mech died within the first battle or second battle and then I had no way to repair it. So I lost, you know, what was that 35 time mech? You can't lose 35 time mech in the beginning of the game. That's just not an option that's available. Ballista, you were right. You did see one. Um, that is more than I have, though. <laughs> um, that said, I can absolutely sell this dude. Yep, adios. Ballista mount, sniper artillery, three tons of ammo, three machine guns, two mounted forward, one rear. Oh, the APC? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Well, how do I sell it? Is it under equipment or is it under... Bribe local officials. Okay. Right. Yes. No. You, you know. It's yes. The artillery, like a long time. No. You you plop it and you go far away from it. <laughs> All right. So how do I sell this? How do I sell this thing? Go to the mech bay. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, but I don't, but I don't have it here. So where is it? The vehicle bay. 
Okay, but where's the vehicle bay? <laughs> I'm so I'm saying I'm not seeing the ve I'm not seeing vehicles here. Click mech. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That okay. That was annoying. All right. I can just sell it, right? Fifteen thousand. That's nothing. Okay. Ba base. Hey, I actually have some battle armor. I don't know if guys do. All right. Yeah, there's there's multiple. I, I see the bays now. That was not something that was clear. Oh, well, too late. It's okay. It's scrapped. I'm not too. I'm not too worried. I, I will. Can always come back and get it later. Oh, it's much less than selling, really. Okay, that is good to know. You, okay, because normally, because I don't think you can just, I don't know, I, I've never scrapped anything directly. Oh, I need to figure out settings for this guy. Are you getting any buffering? On the... It's telling me that the stream is having problems here. Yeah, I guess I could. I mean, I could at least store it for now, right? Um, it wasn't that. It wasn't that useful. No, too. You're not getting any stuttering. The title of the stream is wrong. Battletech Advanced 30. Oh, yes, you're right. It is. Uh, wrong keyboard. That's the problem with that sometimes. Now your comment makes more sense. Oh, hello. I never turned my... I did. I turned the keyboard off. That's the problem. 3062. Yes. Okay, there we go. That's better. All right. I did. I fat fingered that. Okay. Alrighty. And this is a vehicle, right? So I have to actually have I have to have a pilot that can pilot a vehicle, or this just drops with me. I'm buying it. New battle max available. Yeah, wow, okay, yeah, sure, okay, yes, um, buy the one, thank you. Yeah, I know, we're kind of having some problems. It's all right, we're going to do some more missions. Uh, command center. Uh, patrol, it's a battle. Sure, let's do it. All right. Um... Next lance, ballista, magnet, coolio, save, basic B, again, yep, all right, cool, deploy, <laughs> all right, now that's annoying, I said, I, okay, I told Streamlabs every 45 minutes, if there's enough chat, then do some things, right? But it's doing them all now, rather than like, hey, do 45 and then stagger. So I apologize for the spam. And I think I need to, I'm gonna have to, uh, oh no, stream is healthy again. Huh, that's really weird. Uh, I got zero drop frames, and I'm running at like 5,000, I think. But I can go much higher for YouTube, and I, I need to do that. So I keep forgetting. I got to change my settings for YouTube. So, all right, right out in the open. All right. Okay. Good. Let's do it. Ready for action, Commander. All right. So, Okay. What do the different colors mean? 
45 times, all right. What does that say? That's telling me crystal field. But that's a crystal field too, right? Unstable terrain, okay. Confirmed. Enemy contact where? Oh, red is road. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's what I. So, I mean, that's what I. When I went into an urban space, that's what was showing up. Moving to position. Race, baby. I want to just, just stay right there. Hand. You got time, man. You got time. Time for my opening. is on your side. Yes, it is. Yeah. Destroy the Capellan Lance. Destroy us, Capellan Support Lance 1. Does that mean there's Capellan Support Lance 2? Could be. Okay, thank you. Again, that's one of those things where it's just simply, you know, it's like learning about the user interface, you know, um, same thing in, in Rogue Tech. It's like, oh, look, there's a thing. It's telling me it's red, which obviously means it's bad, but how is it bad? Oh, those are landmines. They're blowing my mech's legs off. Now I understand why that's bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to reserve again, too. Just a vehicle. All right, we got at least... Probably four to six vehicles here to deal with. Wait, sure, why not? Receiving you. All right, can anybody jump here. that far? No. Wow, that is. I feel like these maps are just really big. Good to go. That or everything is just slowed down. You know what? I bet it's, um, I bet the, the gameplay is slowed down to like, it's, I, I'm, I've been playing it at higher speeds. So this, I bet this, that's what's going on here. This just feels slow and, um, not very, um, uh, it, it feels ponderous, you know? Gonna camp here until I see an opening. Hey. No brace. Oh, I'll just sit here and manage heat. Good. You should. Sure. Just forget about me. <laughs> Gonna camp Not here forgetting until about I see you. an opening. Something I can do. Yeah, I'd like you to jump here. Shoot that dude. Lift it off. Which is really gutsy and ballsy move here, because he's got three SRM sixes. I bet you're gonna like this. Hey, there's some mechs out here. Holy crap, that dude's got a lot of missiles. What now? How many shots does she have? 15, right? She has high explosive rounds. Okay, that's what we'll use. No, we're not going to bother. Never brace, because bring guys closer. A locust! Come 
Well, thank you for missing. Standing by. Wow, these guys got a lot of pips. How'd they get so many pips, man? Wow, that sucks. This is a little bit better. Lifting off. I copy. <laughs> Completely missed. That didn't hit? Yep, you didn't hit a single thing. Congratulations. One more mech out here at least. Okay. I think I hit a kick a couple times. That's not too bad. That wasn't as bad as feared. Ready for orders. On my way, double time. All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, you're done. You are done for now. There's the end of the vehicle. All right. Desert internal combustion engine. A temporary damage reduction of 10%. Oh, okay, there we go. Patched, all right. Oh, okay. Yes, Commander. All right, we're wait. Waiting for the shot. Yep, and we're gonna keep waiting. Roger that. Standing by. Waiting for the right move. These guys get a little closer together before we start. Lob and grab at them. Got it. Stay and put them now. Sure. Just forget about me. Orders? Fire B? I gotta know what this guy is. Thunderbolt 10. I know I. Thunderbolt is. Alright. He's. Wait, what's going on here? Component damage to his MRM and his. and the ammo for the Thunderbolt. Punched hit chance improved cooling. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, he's got internal damage there on his left side. Okay. That dude doesn't have a medium laser anymore. Red is not only damaged. Okay. Oh, well, it could be out. Yeah, I mean, it could be out of out of ammo. Can't be used. Right. Yeah. No. Orders. I want Leafy to jump to there. Engaging jump jet. Yes, right. 
Oh, the sin if it had it had rockets and rockets are single funds. Oh, okay. I got you, Chief. And that was that huge barrage that that hit a little bit of us. Okay. I all right. That's that helps. Five. Ooh, wow, those, that's much better firing solution. There we go. There we go. Nice. All three hit. Solid. Good shooting. Well done. That was much better than I expected you to do. So it's enemy turn. It has more, you know, has more dudes over there. You say what? It's inside the. <laughs> too close, man. Too close. Okay. <laughs> what? Ever, dude. Commander. Yeah, squish him, would you? From that direction, please. On my way. Locked on for physical attack. Yeah, we're off to kill it off next round. All right, more vehicles. Yay. Um. Affirmative. An up armored Saladin? Oh, God, no, please. Me no gusta. Alright, well, I'm gonna shell the hell out of those guys. Those galleons can go the frack away, man. I think she'll be dead by now. Uh-oh. Ow. Ouch. That guy does not like my Irby. Good shots. Target neutralized. Not salvageable. I'm fine with that. That guy can F right off, man. Cool. Cool, man. Cool. Commander. Coordinates received. 
Putting my weight into it. I missed. Twenty to me. Ow. It's going to be unpleasant. I may regret this. Got it. Oh, nice. Oh, that was beautiful. That looks like a critical hit. That was more than a critical hit, man. Yeah. Oh, crap. We got a fire going on over here. Hi. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's come up. Come on. Well, I'm going to bring you up anyway, dude. Come here. All right. Is that going to work? I don't know if it's going to or not. Uh, let's see. Hey. Who can she shoot? That's the question. Hey, yes. Oh, it didn't work. Really? Okay. Um, 11 points. Yeah, we kind of got to... Let's, let's... Moving to position. She hit it! Oh my god, it's nice! She really hit it. I gotta remember to use my damn abilities. Hi. Ow. Thank you for sucking. <clears throat> right here. Death Crusade. Come on over and smack this dude, would you? Consider it done. Are you gonna feel this? Three turn cooldown. Target. Crap. Next 
negative damage. Yep, I caught that. Sink destroyed. Nice. I'm here. Yeah, I'd like you to move to here. Protect that guy, please. So, oh, this guy. So his, that side is what's damaged. Engaging. Jump dead. Go time. There we go. Enemy down. Good. <laughs> they do still have line of sight because of the locust, but... What's the area of effect on those things? Does it do, can I do... does it do friendly fire? That's a question. Oh. Yep, sure does. Friendly My fire. Getting stripped off. Oh boy, heavy hit there. Losing lots of armor. Well, you learn. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, he's done. Target neutralized. One salvageable part. Yeah, we will not be doing that again. Hey, we've destroyed half of each lance. Oh, he's done. Hostile eliminated. Nice. What now? It's also the safer one. Reporting major armor loss. How did that hit you? Right here. All right. Nice. Okay. Yes, command. Oh, 
Well, it sucked that blew my own guys up. But now I know. Careful, now first thing you got. Nice shot. Orders. All and ass. Yes, Commander. Copy that firing. Oh, up. it's very dead. I got Meow. you. Hey, if you salvage your parts, you ready to get down? There you go. Alright. Commander. Oh, oh, it's on now. Nice shooting, Tex. Hey. Okay. Waiting for orders. Moving out. You want to go downstairs? Okay, hold on a second. I will let you downstairs, sir. All right, everybody. Let's get this done. Standing by. This thing is taking the shorts, man. All right, give me one second. You guys get some hair, chair height for a moment. Oh, chair height had to leave. That's too bad. Ready for orders. Copy that. Good lord. Three max Ready for so order. far. Beating the crap out of this dude. And he is surviving. Uh huh. I'll buy that. Does this guy have like infinite ammo? Armor? Sorry, not ammo. Infinite armor. Ow. Minimal damage on that hit. Well, he has a butt ton of armor. What now? If you say so. Oh, I'm wounded. Mm. Yes, Commander. Lifting off. Got it. Boom, finally. Oh, my God. That's a good end, though. I mean, there's a good One end of the map. Target. A milk run? Okay, well, yeah, it would have been if I hadn't nuked my own guys. <laughs> um, now I gotta take a look at this. Oh, 
25,000 C bills. Here we got 146. That's nice. Payment increased by 40%. One reputation. Lose one reputation. Only one? Oh, okay. It was actually. All right. Uh, what did I lose? I lost a medium laser and a large laser and three heat sinks. Crap. Was that it? I think so. Looks like it. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm intrigued by this fire bee. Okay. All righty. Well, I've obviously got some work to do here. I've got to repair um, that mech that is uh, really damaged. We got to run some more missions. Yeah, this guy is in bad shape. Replace. Yeah, medium laser. I got to get three heat sinks. Dean Dva three medium laser. Don't think I've got. Oh, I do. I've got a medium laser and a large laser. Wow. Color me. Stop that. Color me surprised. All right. That is going to suck up pretty much all of my cash. But that will be. Yeah, you have forty nine k left. Um, thank you. Appreciate that rule, um, Rahul. Um, thank you. That that would have been much better if it had gone, if it just just been, if I had not wondered about something and then gone. I wonder if and then found out. Oh yeah, no, the friendly fire is definitely on. <laughs> would have been a lot better if I had not learned that the the hard way. All right, let's fix some patterns here. God, these some of these patterns are just crap, man. It's not bad. Yeah, I think I like maybe two best. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. The Irby. It's like, is there any paint on that thing? Other than accent paint? That's not horrible. Yeah, uh, that was a that was, that was a, a, a good lesson to learn. I would have wished I'd learned it before. I wish I had known it before I learned it. <laughs> I, I, t I used a, I, I used the um, the ballista, the, the indirect fire, and I shot artillery, and it it damages your guys, which I suspected it would do. I wasn't positive it would do it. Now I am. Now I'm a hundred percent positive that it will happen that way. God, none of those are good. They all look like crap. Okay, well, sorry, it's it's fine enough. It is good enough. Okay. That said, I'm going to come back over here and do that. <laughs> we are... Thank you guys for coming along. Um, I'm only streaming for a couple of hours right now on, uh, on YouTube because I'm just trying to get used to the idea of doing it. Um, I haven't streamed on YouTube in a long time. Um, it's, been, it's been a bit. Um, and so I'm trying to like do this a little bit. I'm streaming over on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I do that for about three hours. Um, and then I'm playing right now about two hours. Um, tonight was about two and a half. Well, not about two because I started late. Um, but I do about two hours on YouTube right now just so I'm not like completely blowing my voice out. Um, I have to teach classes. I have to coach people. I have to do a whole bunch of stuff for my impending job, which hopefully will be very soon now. And... Um, that is going to be um, something I have to keep my voice because I have actually have some very uh, uh, consistent problems with my voice, uh, losing my voice, having a weak voice, that kind of stuff. I'm actually sucking on the halls right now to keep myself from, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, keep my voice from, from going too bad. And yes, Rahul, you're right, 100%. That is one of the challenges about having the um, game more accurate is that, you do that, and now suddenly you've got 
um, you know, you have to, to deal with things. But the good thing is, I, I so I enjoyed this gameplay far more than I enjoyed two days ago when I played. <laughs> so we will be trying this again. We'll be playing this some more. So we've got that. We've got our Gizmonic Order. We've got our logo. We've got me as the commander. I'm feeling a little bit better about this. I like this a little bit better than I did coming into this. And I'm glad that I gave it a chance. Um, one of my followers over on Twitch, uh, Waylay, said you should try this. I So um, I am trying it. We're going to see if I like it any better. Um, I've only played it for a few hours, so it's not like I've got the 500 plus hours that I have on Bex in this. Um, but I do have some hours on this. So um, we will, uh, well, I said, we'll give this a shot, see how it plays out. And um, if we continue liking it, then we'll keep playing it. And if it gets to a point where it's like the simulation part of it is just not as fun as the other parts, then maybe we'll punt. So um, we'll see what happens. But for right now, I am enjoying this. This has kind of been kind of fun, um, and I'm um, I'm liking it. I also need to bump up the uh, bit rates. Um, this way, like, seems to be a very wise person. <laughs> yes, he does. You're right, hundred um, percent. I will pass that along. Uh, Tiago, um, and let him know. I'm, I'm sure that Wele will be happy to to hear that um, you guys thought that he was a very wise person. Um, like I said, I, I haven't really haven't played much of this yet. I want to get more into it. I will be playing some more. Um, I do like some of the customizations. I might even change. I uh, might even do uh, voiceover work for the for the characters. Although I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play the commander at all. There's no no value in that. Um, there's actually a um, strategic benefit for not having your commander character play. So um, I think that's, I'll probably do that. But um, thank you guys for coming along. I appreciate it. If you guys are interested, I do stream over on Twitch. It's just uh, twitch.tv slash gizmo devoe. And again, I play traditionally, um, or traditionally I've been playing Battletech, um, a different mod with a different campaign. Um, you guys are welcome to come along for that. If you are just interested in here over on YouTube, that is fine as well. Uh, my channel has a whole bunch of other videos about Battletech and about all that stuff. Um, I am looking to add more Battletech content. I also have a Night of the Dead survival series that I publish up every Tuesday now. Um, so that's been kind of fun, just kind of trying to survive and you know, grow my, my, my main base and my trap base and survive the zombie apocalypse. It's been interesting. Um, it's a total change of pace, zombie survival, battle mechs. Yeah, there's not a lot of overlap on that Venn diagram. Um, but um, anyway, I, I've been enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun. So thank you guys for coming along. I appreciate it. Um, until next stream, which uh, on YouTube will be on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we'll be streaming back over here. Otherwise, I'll be back on Twitch tomorrow. Please stay healthy. Stay safe until next stream. You guys are awesome. Please help keep that awesome here for a while longer. Do what you can to protect yourself, protect your loved ones. You guys are smart. You know what to do. And we will catch you on next stream. But until then, see ya. Bye.